attitude isn't enough to get you to back down anymore. Intimidating you may have worked, but not this time. Anyone that tried to intimidate you in the past with the shouting or screaming or yelling, you now see that as a way that they were just trying to manipulate you into being afraid or being fearful of what they were doing. There's no reason to be afraid of, of what somebody is doing. All right, everybody feels the fear, but if you have to act, you act anyway. You, you feel the fear and you still act regardless of being afraid or what. You, you, but regardless of feeling the fear, you still step forward and that's true courage. All right, fear doesn't go anywhere. But courage is acting anyway. Courage is stepping up to the plate and doing what you need to do anyway. It's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to make it go away and just be have courage. All right, you, you, it's, you're going to feel it, but you're still going to be strong enough and courageous enough to act anyway. It's there, but the courage is there too. You just have to choose which one you're going to entertain. Are you going to be overtaken by one or are you going to lean towards the other? Are you going to uh, move towards the other? Are you going to uh, manifest the other within yourself? You got to manifest the courage within yourself, regardless of the situation. All right, people are going to try to intimidate you and you can't back down. All right, you look them dead in the eye. You know, you don't back down, look them dead in the eye. Let them know what time it is, all right? You, you, you don't fall for stuff like that. People want you to fall for stuff like that. You don't fall for stuff like that. People want you to just, okay, this person is intimidating or this person is is getting a certain way. I'm just going to, like, nah, you don't have to, it, it, uh, none of that is necessary. You know, definitely, definitely weigh your options out, all right? Don't, don't be an idiot. Don't be stupid. But also, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with walking away from a situation if you know a situ if you know a situation ain't really gonna you know turn out too good it's nothing wrong from walking away from a situation if it's not worth it but always most definitely stand your ground regardless though if it, if it comes down to it don't not just allow anything to happen to you because of a situation you walk away from. So if it's something that you could be smart and walk away from, cool. But if it's not something you could walk away from and you have to defend yourself or you got to stand up for yourself, then that's just going to be what you have to do. But we try to avoid, we, we avoid those situations at all costs. All right. We avoid those situations at all costs. But for the people who don't allow you to avoid it, you don't just sit there and be a good person and let somebody ping, ping, ping on you. All right, nobody, well, nobody's doing that. All right, so uh, their attitude isn't enough to their attitude isn't enough to, to back you down. You know, maybe you are intimidated by people's attitudes. Maybe people shouting, yelling, screaming were things of the past that used to be able to get you to get you to back down or get you to to feel some type of way. But all that is is just it's just energy that people are are putting out. All that is is just somebody yelling. All that is is somebody screaming. Don't don't allow people selling wolf tickets to frighten you. Don't allow somebody yelling or scream. Don't allow that to, to alter you. you. You know, you have to control how you feel during those time periods. If any if anything does come over you, then you have to uh, focus on a different feeling. You have to focus on courage. That fear is not going to go anywhere, but you have to, um, like I said, manifest a feeling of courage within yourself. Look that person dead in the eye while they're doing all that yelling and screaming and all that. You know, and if, 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 if and definitely don't let them get close to you. All right. Don't 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 let people get close to you when they do all that. All right. But usually if a person is just yelling and screaming and they're trying to intimidate you, don't. Number one, don't escalate the situation. Never escalate the situation. If somebody is already yelling and screaming, don't escalate the situation. Keep your distance from them. Don't walk over to them. All right. Don't don't take the bait. Don't allow people to lure you into negative situations. But when people are trying to intimidate you or if somebody approaches you or comes up on you and tries to get up in your face, don't let them get up in your face. Number one, don't let people get too close up to you. Number one. All right. 
you know, get, get, set a boundary. All right, set a boundary. Don't let people get too close to you. All right, you set a boundary and people got to respect that boundary. And if and usually it'll just, it'll stay there. People usually will respect what you put in place, but you just have to put that boundary in place and you have to not be intimidated to do so. Usually they intimidate people. People don't set a boundary. Somebody gets all up in your face. And then before you know it, you know, a situation could either get ugly or you're just looking like, it, it, the situation is not looking good for you and, and, and you can end up not feeling too good about yourself after a situation like that. And regardless of, you know, the situation, you want to stand up for yourself because that's going to lead, that's going to allow you to leave the situation feeling good about yourself, regardless of who says what or who's what you, you want to feel good about you and confident in you. So you set boundaries and you stand up for yourself and don't just let people get all up in your face, but you, you don't, escalate the situation you don't have to but you also don't let people get all up in your face or disrespect you so you, you you be wise you be smart don't just react to things don't just you know jump bad in situations unless you have to but don't let people get too close to you set boundaries all right that people have to respect you know and, and if, if people don't respect those boundaries then you just have to take the necessary precaution that's just the next step that you have to take all right. Uh, sometimes bullies think they can get things over on certain people or and they think there's no repercussions for things. But if you, you have to be careful to not take the bait, people will lure you into situations to where they can try. They can do you dirty. All right. So don't get lured into any situations to where people will do you dirty. That's what the whole uh, trying to get you to react is about sometimes, if not all the time. All right. So. If they're, if they're trying to intimidate you, just if, if they're acting a certain way, if they're selling wolf tickets, let them get all that over with. Let them get all that out their system. Don't be entertained by it. Ignore it if you can. If they if they try to bring that stuff to you, you know, you set a boundary. Don't let people get up in your face with that nonsense. All right? Don't let people get up in your face with that nonsense. All right? Because you, you, you're, you're, you, you don't have time for that. You're grown. All that stuff is, you know, should be done and out the way with by now. But there are some people that attract these things because there are people who have a, a issue with them. And, you know, this person is dealing with a demon. Sometimes you never know what could possibly happen. All right. People tend to, you know, people tend to try to get weird with certain people because they, they feel some type of way. It's like they're filled with that much hate and that much rage. So there are certain situations where people got to, you know, people got to step up and defend themselves because the, this person is possessed at this point. You're not dealing with this person. You're dealing with a, a spirit that's on this person. And you may have to deal with the this, this, this spirit of that person or you may have to deal with the flesh of that person. Hopefully you could just deal with the spirit of them and just, you know, talk to them, quell the situation. That's the best thing you want to do. You don't want to escalate situations. You want to be able to talk to people. You want to be able to. See if you could quell the situation. See if you can calm things down. That's the that's the that's the gentlemanly thing to do. You know that's that's the that's the manly thing to do. To see if you can you know put things on pause, calm people down, get people to go their separate way. You go your separate way. That's the the thing to do. All right, that shows growth. That shows a person is a man. Men don't have time for this type of behavior. Any man that um, promotes this type of behavior is is just promoting some BS. They just want to see something happen. They, they want to be entertained. You know, they should just go watch a boxing match, but no, nah, they, they want one live right in front of their face. A lot of people that are like this are narcissistic. All right, they don't mind seeing somebody get hurt. It's like they want to, you know, like ancient Roman times with the gladiator kind of thing. Some people like this chaos, this drama. There's some people who are messy like that. That's why it's the, the least people you have around you, the better sometimes. That's why sometimes the least people you have around you, the better but a lot of people will try to intimidate you with attitudes. A lot of people will try to intimidate you with, um, with their negativity. A lot of people will try to intimidate you with dirty looks, with um, menacing looks on their faces. All right. A lot of people uh, will try to intimidate you with, with negative attitudes. Don't, don't allow these attitudes to don't don't allow people attitudes to uh, sway you or make you feel any type of way. It's just somebody and, and their little stank ass attitude, man. All right. And don't escalate any situations, but just make sure they keep their little stank attitude to themselves. All right. And don't don't let them bring their stank attitude to your face 
because you're handling the situation a certain way to where now they think they might be able to step to you. That's why if they step to you, how you defend yourself when you're not trying to get um, you're not trying to get into any scuffles or you're not trying to get into any unnecessary situations where it's not worth it. You set a boundary. You, you can put your hand in front of yourself and, and demand somebody to step back and to stay away from you. And if they don't, then it's just it's whatever happens is going to have to happen. But at, at least you're preparing yourself to, you know, you're not just going to stand there and just let anything happen. You're preparing yourself and getting mentally prepared for, for if something's about to go down. Uh, you always need to be mentally prepared. You, you're not trying to get into any of these situations, but you need to stay on point because there are some people, there are some people, you know, that are just hating, but you have to, uh, by all means, avoid these situations, avoid getting into anything. You don't want any problems, but there are some people that are just hating too much. There are some people that just do too much. There are some people that think they're going to bully you. All right. And I, and I'm not, I'm not like, not trying to, to like, I'm not promoting violence or I'm not talking about getting into fights with people, but there are some people that just think they're going to bully you. And there's some people that think they're just going to bother you. All right. And, and you're not doing nothing to them, but they think that this is what they're, this, this is their obligation. And they feel that they're entitled to this because this is just the way they want to deal with you because that's, that's the way they view life and that's who they are. And, and you have to set boundaries to where you don't let these things happen. People try to bully people in all aspects of life. And how you stop bullies and how you get them to retreat is by setting boundaries. If they if they try to fight, if they try to manipulate, if they try to weasel they weasel their way in, you have to be able to stop that too. But setting boundaries is going to be the number one way. People try to do things you don't approve of, no. People do things you don't like, no. People do things that aren't about what you're about, no. People do things that you, you're not interested in at this particular moment in time, no. Something you don't want to do, no. Something you don't like, no. You got to set boundaries with people because there are people who don't care about how you feel about stuff. There are people who don't care about what you don't like. There are people who don't care about you as a person, period. There are people that don't give a crap about the next person. It's just what they want and that's it. And that's how they go through life. And you can't deal, you can't deal nicely with people like that because you're going to get done dirty. And being nice is, is dumb because being nice to people, you're going to miss out on the opportunity. You're going to miss out on the opportunity to be able to prevent something from happening. If you're being nice to someone, that's why being nice is dumb. You can't be naive. You can't be nice. You can't think everybody is a good person. You can't think other people are, are the same type of person as you. You got to be on your P's and Q's and be aware of the people around you. Facial expressions, body language. It's a lot, but you, you have to quote unquote peak game. You know, and, and, and you know, it is what it is. Um, hey, you know, some people are aware, some people are squares, but it, it is what it is. Um, it's all about how you see yourself. You definitely don't want to be no damn square when it comes to, to this type of information. All right. You want to be hip to this type of information. All right. You, you want to be on point to this type of information because it will drastically change the way people deal with you and the way you deal with people. Setting boundaries is a powerful thing. It's 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 your it's your your uh, superpower. It's your superpower between other people and the ability of of them being able to take advantage of you. It pretty much puts up a wall and 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 is a force field to where nobody could take advantage of you. They gonna try, but you know that's where that force field comes into play because once you set up that boundary there's that idea that you're being crossed and if, if somebody's going to try to do that you're more more likely to defend yourself or to defend that boundary that you have put in place because once you said it you know that this something wrong is happening here you're aware that something is not right that something that you don't want to happen is is being forced upon you or it, it, is somebody's trying to make it happen You'll be like, wait a minute, you'll, you'll reinforce your boundary. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. We put, we wait a minute. All right, we done, we, we done laid something down here already. You still trying. I done heard somebody say this the, the other day and I liked it. They said, you asked me once, the answer's no. You asked me again, the answer's no. You asked me another time, the answer's no. The answer's still no. <laughs> the answer's still no. All right, don't let people get you for being a good person. Don't, don't let people take your good nature for granted or take advantage of it.
the fact that you want to do right by other people. First, you got to do right by you. You're the most, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are the most important person in your life. You are the most important person in your life before anybody and everybody. All right, their attitude isn't enough to intimidate you anymore. It may have been before because you didn't know any better. Maybe it was due to some prior programming that, that you were, you were uh, uh, unaware of what was taking place and how to handle it within yourself. So it made you, it made you afraid. You had fear. As soon as people eh, get like that, maybe you, you felt some type of way. Maybe you, you didn't know how to handle the situation and you didn't know what to do. Don't blame yourself. Maybe you was in freeze mode. Don't blame yourself. It's about learning and figuring things out and moving forward and, 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 and not staying in the same situation anymore. You want to be able to get over stuff and you want to be able to get past stuff so that way you could grow past it. But sometimes you got to accept it. It may not be something, the best thing that you had, uh, want to accept about yourself, but it'll help you become your best version by accepting it because acceptance means change. You're willing to change it if you can accept it. If you can accept it, you're able to, 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 to change it because you're willing to change it because you're willing to accept it. So once you see that, you know what, I got to change this so I don't, I don't uh, keep getting played out here or this this has to be different. So that way I can get the result I want when I deal with folks. You know, don't let, pe don't let people do you any kind of way. People love people like that. You'll have you'll have more friends than you can count. You don't got to be a rude person. You don't have to be a mean person. You just have to be a person that sets boundaries and doesn't allow people to do you any kind of way. Once you do, there are going to be people that don't like you anymore. Once you set boundaries and people can't do you how they thought they could, there are going to be people who are upset with you that don't like you no more because you set a boundary. But, you know, it, it's about how you want to be treated. It's not about who it's not about who's going to like you. It's about how you want to be treated. And you want to be treated how you treat other people. And how you do that is by setting boundaries and by teaching them how to treat you. All right. People's attitudes isn't enough to manipulate somebody if, unless they invite themselves to be manipulated by somebody's attitude. That's just an act. It's just an act. Don't fall for it. That's not that. It's just an act. Don't don't let them run that that lame stuff with you. You can get angry too if you if you really wanted to. You get angry right back. You don't have to be anything that you're not because somebody else is doing something. Let people do what they want. You just set your boundary and keep keep it G. Keep keep, keep it G and set your boundary. All right. Keep it keep it gangster and set your boundary. All right. You don't have to get bucked. You don't got to get loud. You can be smooth, calm, collect. No. You heard what I said. <laughs> just, 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 set your, just set your boundary. If you're not a tough guy, don't be a tough guy. If you're just a cool person, just be a cool person. But doesn't mean you got to let people walk all over you and mistreat you. Just because you're cool with people. At some point, you're going to have to stop being cool with people or you're going to get taken advantage of and done dirty. And you don't want to be done dirty. If you're doing right by people, you want people to do right by you. Straight up. Straight up. All right, all that intimidation stuff, all them attitudes, all people trying to yell at you, scream at you, all that stuff don't mean nothing no more. Somebody does that, you wait for a second, and then you just look at them and yell at them back if you want to. like Or just be like, yo, who are you yelling at? Like, really just ask them, like, yo, who are you yelling at? No, 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 no. Who, who are you yelling at? Why are you yelling at me like that? Why are you talking to me like that? You're not going to talk to me like that. I'm not talking to you like that. Don't talk to me like that. And then re refuse to keep talking to them. That's when you that's when you walk away. If somebody is unwilling to change, don't escalate the situation. Walk away. If you don't have to be a tough guy. Walk away from the situation. All that's going to lead to is two people getting into a, a heated argument. You you have to realize that you know what. You have to realize a lost cause when you see one, and you have to recognize a lost person when you see one. Lost people will drag you into the abyss. Don't let. A lost person drag you into the abyss. All right, the realm of negativity and despair. Don't let them take you there. I'll take you there. No, the hell you won't. 
I'm trying to go where ain't nobody working. That's where I'm trying to go. So I need to take a different attitude and approach to life. One that will keep me on a positive note. But where I'm not getting played by unpositive people. All right, don't let somebody's attitude sway your opinion. If somebody's attitude can sway your opinion, they're using you as a doormat. If they can catch your attitude, if they can get angry, if they can try to intimidate you, they're a, they're pushing certain buttons and they're walking all over you and you're their doormat. All they have to do is act a certain way to get you to behave a certain way. It's just, it's just manipulation. It's wolf tickets. It's, they're not really about that. If anybody is not really about it, it's the person that's trying to manipulate you. You're not going to let nobody just, just haul off and just beat on you. So what's, 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 what's there to prove? You don't have to be like anything. Don't ever let nobody just put their hands on you. You're not going to do that. So if somebody has an attitude towards you and they're just trying to act like that, it's because they're trying to get you to behave a certain way. Don't behave, don't behave any kind of way because somebody's attitude and, and, and because they get mean or, or they could they could uh, get negative. Don't don't allow that to change your mind. What you said, what you want, what you're going after, what your goal is still stands. It has to. Otherwise, people will keep doing this and trying to manipulate you and get you to do things the way they want it to be done. Because all this is is them fighting against the way you're trying to do things. Their, their way of not doing the way the things the way you want them to do them is by fighting against you this way intimidation if somebody tries to intimidate you you may be less likely to approach them about something that they're doing if somebody tries to intimidate you you're less likely to maybe speak up about something or less likely to handle a situation to where you'd stand up for yourself or set a boundary all ways to defend yourself don't let people manipulate you or stop you from defending yourself or, or or standing up for yourself that's all you're doing don't don't it, it, don't nothing's gonna happen to you because you're standing up for yourself or defending yourself and if it does then you'll just have to stand up and defend yourself another way you're not gonna die all right another person's opinion doesn't have to become your reality people will say things when you take the high road they'll have their opinion because they didn't get to see their little their little argument or their little fight or their little scuffle or whatever, but you don't listen to them. That's just a pe that that is literally the definition of the peanut gallery. The definition of it. Peanut brain, peanut head, just everything peanut. Nuts in general, just cuckoo. Just wanna 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 see something disruptive and destructive, but nothing positive happen. That's on them. All right, so don't allow attitudes to intimidate you, nothing like that. Uh, you don't have to be that person that's intimidated by that. See yourself being able to maintain your frame. Or see yourself being able to maintain your frame in those situations. It's all about how you view yourself. If you were treated like that early on, that may have developed how you view yourself. The way you are treated, the way your life goes, that builds a person's definition of themselves that builds a person I, a person's identity of themselves their idea of themselves so if you've seen yourself like this prior and haven't changed it the way you see yourself is what you're going to get from yourself if you see yourself as someone that acts a certain way when someone does something then that's the per that's the you you're going to be that's the you you're going to be in the world and giving other people and acting so and, and things like that so it's, it's how you view yourself and how you see yourself that has a positive a profound change on your mind and your life and how you deal with other people. If there's anything you want to change, it can be changed. Just if, if, if you are intimidated by things that people do or say or whatever, stop viewing yourself as that and see yourself as being in a situation that's intimidating, but you not being intimidated. All right. You, you, your mind is powerful. You can recraft it. You can reshape your reality. You can change how you, you handle situations. It, it starts with how you view yourself and how you view yourself handling the situation. You have to see yourself handling it the way you would want to to handle it the way you want to, if that makes sense, if you're not already handling it the way you would like. All right, their attitude isn't enough anymore. People can get an attitude, they can get mad, they can do all that stuff, but, you know, hey, you're not going to be, be swayed by somebody's attitude or their negative opinion. 
you got to get yours. You have to get what you want. You got to do what you need to do. And like I said, there are people that try to bully people. So it's just a way of them trying to bully you into a way of them getting what they want, but you not getting what you want and you're not going to put up with it. You are going to get what you want and, and that that's it. They got to they gotta deal with that. And if not, then they either got to go somewhere else or they just got to have an attitude. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully it doesn't have to go further, but this is just only for extreme purposes. And sometimes, you know, you have extreme haters. You have people who are sociopaths or psychopaths, but those are just rare cases. All right, these these types of things do not happen all the time. All right, these, these are rare cases. All right, this video is about rare cases. But in most cases, you'll just, you know, set your boundary, stand up for yourself, and then everybody's going to go their separate way. All right, so we'll pray. We'll keep praying for that. And we'll, we'll keep our mind on what it's supposed to be on as far as success and everything. And I, I see you I see you all at the top. All right, I know, I know you all are very successful people and you have things that you want to do as well. All right, because uh, I'm not the only one. Jeanette told me that. Jeanette said, you're not the only one. Okay, okay Jeanette, I'll see you. All right, but yeah, I, I will see all of you, including Jeanette, at the top. Peace.